This is my aquaponic system. I started these lettuce seedlings about three weeks ago. Here's some black seeded Simpson. Next row is Grand Rapids. Red Romaine. Bought some of these seeds uh, from a heirloom vendor on uh, eBay and have been very happy. Um, at a really good germination rate. Really happy with the oak leaf. Some of the leaves are starting to get the classic oak leaf shape. This is some butter crunch. Behind the butter crunch are some clones I'm attempting to do from a ghost pepper. Ran out of uh, photo period this summer. I didn't get any fruit. Behind that are basil, parsley, kale. A little more parsley that were from the vegetable garden. This is a heirloom variety of dwarf tomatoes called Tiny Tim. They're not a cherry tomato. Bloomsdale spinach. This is some a microgreen mix. Behind the microgreens is the security department. I've had this uh, picture. This is from the Highland of Borneo uh, for about a week and I've already got one new picture started at the far leaf. This picture was just forming when I took it out of the package and I'm really happy about being able to do this hydroponically. Um, so far so good. The reason we call this a vegan aquaponic system is we won't be eating the fish that are driving the system. These are our Randa goldfish. There's four in there. And they've done real well with the pump system. They've had no no, no reaction to it whatsoever. Inside the pots are an aquarium plant called Anubius. Seven varieties in, or species, varieties of a species in there. I put them in pots to facilitate um, cleaning of the system. You can see they don't uh, get bothered too much when the pump comes on. I'm using a bell siphon and I seem to get my siphon started in about a minute and a half or so. I'm running seven cycles on a 16 day photo period, um, cycling for about 10 minutes. Under this glass jar dome is an aquarium plant species called Pusophilandra. They're from Borneo and they grow in waterfall areas and flooding streams. So uh, it's a good habitat. It gets flooded seven times a day. The glass jar serves to keep humidity up. You can hear the drains started already. I used a 45 degree electrical conduit as my return. I found it uh, made a little bit more sense than doing all the traditional uh, elbows and extension pieces and fitting everything together. You can see the goldfish are pretty much unaffected by the pump.
little hard to see. I have a two and a half inch block of 10 part per inch foam separating the goldfish from the a return pump to the grow bed. There's also an aquarium pump in there pumping water through the foam on a constant level. This aids in ongoing filtration. This type of filter is referred to as a matten filter from um, German design. Gives additional filtration. Really keeps the bed nice and clean of uh, macro debris. This piece of glass that uh, here uh, I glued into position. That's a scrap left over from building the tank. This is a approximately 42 gallon tank that I built from a 70 gallon tank I bought off of Craigslist. Had a glass shop cut it down for me, um, glued it up into this configuration. The uh, glued on piece of glass uh, serves to keep water splashing from getting out of the tank. The secondary piece is a lid to help with uh, control uh, evaporation. Thanks for watching my video.